Hey everybody, this is Bo again doing a Bible review. I'm going to try to make this one a little quicker than the others. This is a local church Bible publisher's uh, 390 wide margin. And uh, this is my first uh, local church Bible publisher Bible. And uh, I got this on a trade with a man in Virginia. He, I had a uh, Cambridge, I want to say a Cambridge Minion. Not a pit Minion, but a Minion. An older uh, hand-sized Bible, or a little smaller hand-sized Bible. Uh, he wanted it. He didn't need a wide margin, so it worked out as a good trade for both of us. So uh, anyhow, let's let's kind of get into it. This the the spine looks really good. I have to give them that. the The ribs are pr very pronounced. It looks really good, and it has the perimeter stitching. And in the 390, at least the the one I've got, it has the three piece cover with the back and then you have the the seam the sewn seam right there which is really nice when you're holding the bible and reading it this gives you some extra um extra uh body on that spine when you're holding it and reading from it i'll kind of try to show that but the cover is super flexible just i mean it's like butter and it's very 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 soft very soft to the touch and I'm just surprised by how affordable these Bibles are. And I looked on uh, online. I think this one new is only sixty bucks, brand new, and uh, and it it has gold uh, gold edges. And uh, this one, of course, is it was used, so it's got some damage to the uh, to the uh, full the full edges. But I, I've got some uh, some dye, so I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna do my own art gilding in this one, and uh, if I keep it, even if I don't keep it, I still would rather have it art gilded. Um, so anyway, uh, but there is no art gilding, and when you open it up, like you can see the the corners are. I mean they're tidy, but uh, but it's definitely with the perimeter stitch. I'm not worried about it, but it's definitely loose. Until it's not it's not a glued the way that an Allen might be glued or, or one of these uh, uh, custom uh, binds might be glued down and it's tabbed into the block as you can see right there it's tabbed in and uh, it's just really a firm construction and uh, at the start you have several blank pages which is nice no presentation page that, that surprised me. There's really no presentation page or no, uh, it's not like a family Bible where you have all the family information. Uh, it's, I think it's made specifically to be a study Bible. You know, you, you, it's made to write notes in to make, uh, to just help you study. It's not meant to be a family, uh, Bible, but you have the, uh, the, uh, translators to the reader and it's, it's significant long but uh let's see you into the genesis i love how the how they the at the start of each chapter that big letter i know it's nothing it's not a big deal but for, to me i think it just looks really cool the first letter of each chapter is is made is just giant i think it's really neat uh there's no references and and really compared to my uh, Cambridge wide margin, the margins are maybe a half inch smaller, almost all the way around. The, the, the gutter's probably about the same. And, and maybe the top's about the same. But on this far side, it's probably about a half inch smaller. And on the bottom side, it's about a half inch smaller. So I would say that the Cambridge is probably about a half inch taller and, and about a half inch wider than this Bible is all the way around. Um, the text might be about the same size. I'm not really sure, but uh, it, it's it's okay to make a note here, note there. For me, when I'm making notes in a wide in my wide margin, I'm writing paragraphs, so I really prefer to have the wider the wider wide margins. Um, and actually, my legacy, uh, my Crossway Legacy single column uh, Bible, it has margins bigger than this, so. Uh, I would I would consider it a wide margin as well, even though it's not really I don't think it's really marketed as a wide margin Bible. It's just the the layout how it's how it's laid out. So 
Okay. So we'll get to, uh, let's go to the ribbons. The ribbons are really pretty nice. Even though this one, I got it used, so it's a little frayed. But they, they're, they're really, really nice. And I'm probably just going to recut that and uh and burn the ends and so they'll quit fraying but they're actually nice uh nice ribbons um and really it's a it's a it's kind of a, just a text only uh bible you know made to put notes in uh there's really no helps in it as far as references and and uh notes notations of of the text um you do have a concordance in the back and it's a, it's a pretty good size concordance um, but like i said this is a used bible so there's a few pages with some notes already on it um but uh anyway and the concordance is is a really good concordance it's a uh, it's very extensive it's it might be a few hundred pages long it's a it's a pretty pretty good concordance and there's there's seem, seems like there's a reference system kind of built into it as well and at the end of the concordance it just goes straight to uh blank pages i mean it's it, no maps which i'm fine with in a bible like this i'm i'm fine with no maps it's just made to to write in and you have uh you know several maybe six more pages of of white paper and it's tabbed in the block on on the back side of the block and you know these headbands and tail bands look really nice too they're just really nice really well done i like the the perimeter being stitched you know it's going to last a long time and uh you know the even though the the uh the full edges don't look that great i don't i don't really mind that uh, I'm going to art guild it myself anyway, and it's going to look good when I get done with it. Um, I'm just, I'm just haven't decided whether I'm going to do a, uh, a dark red or a light red or, or a light blue, make it look really unique. Um, anyway, but this cover is just so nice. Um, and whenever I hold it, whenever I hold the Bible being a three piece construction, with the the covers kind of a, a three-piece construction it's really i want to say it's just super it's very supportive that that center piece it's just hard to explain how much support that gives uh the spine of the bible when you're holding it and really the way this wide margin lays out when you're holding it in your hand when you squeeze the the spine the amount of margin that's in that gutter kind of ties it in just about right. And uh, so it's it's really probably a great Bible to preach from because it's going to be floppy and you're going to have a good size text. Uh, and when you, when you hold it and you squeeze it together, you're not going to have to try to open it to get those few words in the gutter uh, because the gutter is all margin. So uh, if you're preaching from something like this, you'll be in good shape. Uh, so, I mean, I would say that's probably... Uh, if I decide to preach from the King James, uh, that would be my go-to. So, uh, anyway, that's kind of all, all there is to this thing. It's, uh, it's a really well-built, uh, Bible. I'm probably going to end up trading it. I'm probably not, I don't like selling Bibles a lot, but I, I probably will trade it for a different Bible because I already have wide margins. I already have wide margin Bibles that I use and, uh, it's kind of tough to, start a second one unless it's dedicated to a certain uh ministry or a certain uh like if i did gel ministry and i just wrote gel notes that maybe that would make sense uh but uh you know for right now i'm either looking to trade it uh or worst case sell it and buy something different too so it's just nice to kind of have a have one come in and enjoy it a little while and then trade it and get something else so uh Anyway, that's kind of it. That's all I've got. If, uh, if you think of anything I missed or you want to know anything, I know that this table being about the same color, it's kind of hard to get an idea of, of how deep and rich this brown is and how uh, I wish I wish you people could just feel how soft these covers are. Um, it's just so nice. 
And I, I love how smooth it is. Most of mine are, are grainy. Um, you know, even though they're soft, they kind of have a grain to them. I, I really kind of like this iron calf skin. It's, it's nice. It's smooth. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to, uh, might change the ribbons, even though those are good ribbons. I might put three in it of, of maybe a different color and art gild it. So I'm probably going to upgrade it a little bit, but, uh, I like it. I like it. Again, if you have any comments or if you, if you want to see a different Bible reviewed, uh, let me know if you have a suggestion of a different local church Bible uh, or church Bible publishers. I know they're kind of competing. Uh, I'll try to get one of them and, and review it too. So uh, anyway, thank you again and God bless.